Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Crypto Daily Tracing Us coming to you live from Huey, Vietnam, guys. Wow, it's a great time to be alive, guys. And we got some huge news, guys. Absolutely huge news, fantastic news. We're seeing that for the first time in history, there has been an NFT that just got minted on, I repeat, just got minted on the Dogecoin blockchain, guys. This is huge now. So it looks like, you know, uh, we can now mint and create NFTs on the Dogecoin uh, blockchain and I'm going to show you that and it's been confirmed and we're just waiting for the devs to give the okay and guys we're going to be able to start blasting out uh, Doge NFTs on the Dogecoin uh, network and not only that the cost the cost to mint one NFT on Doge is 0.01% so if you want to mint uh, you know if you want to mint uh, NFTs on Doge you can do it super cheap because if you want to mint uh, you know NFTs on uh, on the Ethereum blockchain you got to pay the gas fees and that can be anywhere from like 60 to like 180 bucks depending on the gas fee and the time of day time of year the time of the lunar cycle guys so this is huge news in the house guys uh so this is this is fantastic and this is a phenomenal news first time in history that you can mint a uh, nft on dogecoin so this is huge guys it's very good news for dogecoin just sees that there's more utility going on with doge remember this video is not financial advice this is just the og in the house the og the od the o to the g the g to the o OG, let's go, guys. This is just OG in the house spreading the good vibes. And remember, this video is not financial advice again. And it's just me trying to educate you, give you some entertainment. Entertainment in the house. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. We're also going to talk about Bitcoin. We're going to talk about still some more evidence that we hit bottom. And, you know, I just believe that we're going to absolutely explode soon, guys. You know, it, it's without a doubt. A lot of people, you know, I, I had one guy called Graham in the comments. He's just a negative Nancy Debbie Downer. And he's like, just, just, he was just going after the OG. So if my mods out there, Jump into the comments, guys, and uh, weed out some of these comments, guys. So I'm calling you out there, Graham. Calling you out, calling me out. You know, so I'm calling you out, buddy. So you're out of there. You got hidden from the channel. So I just want to say, God bless everybody out there. So let's jump in the content without any further delay, guys. And don't forget to go down there and uh, you know follow some of my. Uh, previous videos guys and if you haven't uh, watched all then go back and watch the videos right now right now it's been a long day here uh, in Hawaii I've been working all day in my previous video I had my work shirt on now I got my casual cash shirt on so I'm feeling a little bit I'm feeling more casual right now I'm feeling a little bit better so guys and gals I just want to say God bless each other let's jump in the content without further delay go down there my peeps my community oh to the G, the G, to the O, go down there, smash the likes, guys. Comment, comment, and don't forget to subscribe or not. You know, if you don't like this content and you just want to be a Debbie Downer like Graham out there and you just want to whinge and whine and complain, then unsubscribe, go watch something else, and you know what I mean? You know what I mean, guys? And keep in mind, guys, that uh, this is this is YouTube, and if we want to get noticed and we want to get people to watch our videos, you know, we got to have, we got to have thumbnails that are a little bit, you know, have a little bit of hyperbole in the house because if they don't then nobody's going to watch guys so it's a it's a double-edged sword if you have like boring uh boring uh you know thumbnails like the crypto markets are going sideways nothing's happening if that was a thumbnail with a picture of bitcoin and and uh dogecoin nobody would watch guys so just keep in mind guys uh you know be a little bit more considerate with the comments and also don't be don't be dissing the og and making comments before you even watch the video like come on like Come on, one plus one equals two in my universe, but in some other people's universe, I don't know. You know, like we had the premiere and you have to wait a little bit. And people are like, yeah, this, this is this, this is and the video hasn't even started. Like, come on, how can you even make a comment? So, guys and gals, so we're seeing right now that the pre markets in the US are looking good. They're looking good. We're seeing some green. So, finally, we got some green in the house. So, that's looking pretty good. And hopefully, this will stimulate some upward momentum for Bitcoin. So, right now, if we look at the uh, Shiba Inu right now, Shiba Inu is doing absolutely nothing. We're going to jump into the huge uh, Dogecoin NFT being minted on the, the Dogecoin blockchain in a second guys so keep hold on guys and you know we gotta talk about some other stuff before we get to the big big news because if i gave you the big news at the front you guys are watching like out of there so i gotta keep you on on the edge of your seats guys so buckle up guys so she be you know right now just going sideways at uh, 33 so it's really a nothing burger it's pretty boring in the house nothing is absolutely happening nothing is moving so let's take a look at the let's take a look at the dozier wozier in the house the dozier so dozier those 
We've been having some pretty interesting stuff happen to it. And we're seeing that right now. The Doge right now is at 17.94, And we're going to get ourselves back up to 18 cents, guys. So I think the Doge is, is preparing itself to, to make some moves soon. And, you know, if we could have, if we could have a huge uh, catalyst, uh, you know, like a Bitcoin moving and uh, maybe another tweety, tweet, tweet from Elon Musk. I mean, could you imagine if we got the tweet out that uh, Elon said, we are going to accept Bitcoin and Dogecoin for Tesla. That would send Dogecoin to the to the stratosphere. We could be blasting past 30. So we're still waiting for that one. Hopefully that will come, guys. I look forward to it. So you should look forward to it. And I think it's coming, guys. I think it's coming because I think this whole, you know, use Dogecoin to buy merch on Tesla. I think they're doing that because they want to they want to absolutely test to see how the functionality works and this and that before they, you know, start selling cars. Because, you know, what happens if you buy... You know, you, you start buying Teslas and the, and it doesn't go through and they ship your car and all this. So I think you just want to make sure that the whole back end is working, guys. So that's what that's all about, guys. So you got to love it. I love it. So let's take a look at uh, uh, my, my, doge, my doge on the, the daily chart right now. So we're still, we're st we, we broke up past this descending triangle. We got rejected a little bit. And we're just, I would say we're just on a triangle. What do you say? So it looks still looking pretty bullish in the house for me. So hopefully we can break out of that and get ourselves uh, at least above 22 cents. Yesterday we went past. 22 cents and we went as high as 22.54 and that was with the Elon Musk tweet tweet so that was that was a good but you know it didn't have a it, it didn't stay very long I mean yeah okay it, it you know we were down here at uh, we were low like 15 cents so we're above that so it did help and we did we were able to stay above that so mm, congratulations to the Dogecoin holders we've been waiting for some catalyst and we're starting to make some moves guys so some other some other we're gonna still got the Dogecoin uh, news guys so stay stay tuned stay tuned remember if you're watching this in the live stream and you have a comment and you want me to you know respond to your comment please give a super chat and support the channel guys so this is crypto coin and we're seeing that the binary cdd coin days destroy might indicate that bitcoin just finished it's the accumulation phase and we could have a breakout pretty soon so here's some more uh on-chain data that is uh you know once again supporting the whole uh thesis hypothesis that uh bitcoin is ready to break out guys so we see that we saw the breakout here we saw that once a, a binary cd uh an accumulation is finished we get a huge breakout so we're seeing that the accumulation is all is over now it's absolutely over and we should be seeing hopefully a breakout very soon guys so this is very good that we're seeing that the coin days destroy might indicate that bitcoin just finished accumulation phase and i th and i and i think that we're seeing that right now guys so that is really amazing news in the house guys so that is cool news. And if you want more information about how to get this kind of stuff, you guys are going to hop on over to quick crypt, crypto quant. And uh, I'm not chilling, but it's 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 good source of info, guys. So you guys want to check it out, go to over to CryptoCon. And I think it's free right now. I'm not sure about that, but I think it's pretty much free. And here's a, some other news that's coming out right now. We can see, I think that we're going to be, uh, you know, we're going to go with the smart money. And we're seeing that the largest gap between holders and young coins in history. So right now we're seeing that the gap, let me get my face out of the way. The OG, get the face out of the way. So this is a smart money gap. So we're seeing that the largest gap between holders and young coins remember young coins are coins that people just bought you know within the last couple of weeks or a month and uh you know and the gap between long-term holders we see that you know at these levels here this is the typical bottoms guys so this is a this is a smart money here this is a young holder so we can see that this gap is huge right now actually huge and this should start to signal again we should start to see a huge rise uh in bitcoin pretty soon so this is really pretty typical a bullish signal in house so this is a bullish signal bullish signal we saw this in 2016 similar in 2019 uh, and, uh, and here we're seeing it again in 2021 so when this gap gets to critical levels and that what we're seeing right now is that the gap between uh hodlers and young coins is 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 high guys and we're seeing that this should also indicate that we're going to see the biddy take off and why am i always talking about bitcoin i'm talking about it because this is what is going to drive the cat change this is the catalyst that we're all been waiting for and it's going to make the old coins and dogecoin go up so we're going to talk about the huge dogecoin in a minute guys or it's coming up guys i'm leaving it to the end i got to keep you guys on your seats guys so the the bitcoin balance and exchange has just uh, shrunk to levels last seen four years ago so once again more supply shock guys once again more and more supply shock so last time we saw this level of uh, a supply shop shock uh, on exchanges ha was in uh, January uh, 18th. Uh, you know, January 
2018, and we're seeing exactly the same level right now, right now in 2021. So, and you know, after we saw these levels, we saw that in 2018, Bitcoin start to make a huge pump to the upside. So this is even more evidence that we're going to see a huge bull run uh, for Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto soon. And it's not over, guys. Remember, we still got two weeks left, guys. So some quick facts, guys. We got uh, breaking news. Uh, U.S. Senate voted to lift debt ceiling by 2.5 trillion. Ow, ow, ow. That means that the fatty feds going to be printing a ton of money, guys, and inflation is going to go Woo, to the moon, guys, and we think that uh, you know the federal, the federal, uh, you know the, the Fed, Federal Reserve, uh, Chairman Powell, they're going to be they're going to be absolutely uh, you know going to be increasing the interest rates soon. Also, breaking life insurance company Lemonade just bought one million dollars of Bitcoin for its uh, for its um, balance sheet. So this is cool news, guys. So all these little all these all this news is bullish, guys. We're seeing a lot more bullish news in the house. So you guys should be psyched and you guys should be pumped. So some other news that's coming in, 33.5 billion worth of Ethereum is now trapped uh, in the largest Ethereum contract. And the uh, largest Bitcoin chain staking contract worth 33.5 billion is awaiting the Ethernet mainnet merger to unlock. So somebody just, you know, did a smart contract and they sent it over the Ethereum mainnet. And uh, we need to wait till this merger to unlock before this will be active. So their money is stuck there. So it just means that they believe that this is absolutely going to happen, guys. So this is huge news. And I think it's really, you know, the contract in question is the Ethereum 2.0 uh, beacon chain staking contract launch November 2020. And I, can, and I cannot be spent without a hard fork. So they're waiting for the Ethereum uh, 2.0 hard fork to finish. And once that happens, they're going to be able to unlock. So they just staked. 33.5 billion worth of Ethereum in the latest uh, beacon chain contract that shows high demand and trust in the upcoming Ethereum 2.0. So these people are really trusting that this whole Ethereum uh, 2.0 is going to be huge. So $33.5 billion worth of Ethereum is trapped, guys. It's trapped. You can't take it out. You can't move it. It's stuck there, guys. It's absolutely stuck there, uh, you know. And, and trust me, I got some Ethereum stuck as well, uh, about 10 k worth. Not much compared to that. It's like a minnow, right? Minnow, minnow, minnow. And it's stuck there. You can't do anything with it. So, you know, that's why, we, you know, we got to have faith that this uh, – Ethereum Beacon Chain 2.0 is going to ha absolutely happen. And when that's going to happen, it's going to unlock our stake kids. We're going to the moon, guys. Don't forget to smash the likes, subscribe, why me in the house. We got one more news story, and then we're going to jump into the huge Dogecoin news, guys. The whole the whole Dogecoin news, guys. So you guys know all about uh, a lot of my members and people are freaking out this morning because uh, Coin Market had this huge glitch, uh, or either it was a glitch. Or it was, a, or it was a glimpse into the future because the uh, matrix that we all live in had a glitch, and we saw the future, guys. And we're all going to be gazillion bazillionaires. And it looks like that only paper moon Bitcoin price briefly shows 870 billion on a coin market cap. So what this was all about? We saw these like crazy, crazy prices. You know, Ethereum. Uh, you know, like 81 billion on Binance Coin and Tether was like at 20 thousand. Solana was like a three million, like only. MG. So a lot of people are freaking out and thought that they became, you know, billionaires overnight. And basically what had happened is basically the uh, service provider that's uh, providing the uh, the crypto feed in terms of prices just basically restarted their uh, servers as part of a scheduled uh, restart. And that's why we saw all these crazy, crazy uh, prices going to the moon, guys. So this was just a weird, weird, weird and weird, wacky day, guys. So it's amazing. So here it is. Da, 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 da. Smash the likes. Subscribe, why me? Oh, to the G, to the G, to the O. Oh, let's go. And here's the big story, guys. Right now, we're seeing that Doge developer mints first ever NFT on the Dogecoin blockchain. Bang! This is confirmed, and here it is, right in here in Twitter. So, first NFT minted on the Dogecoin blockchain. How can it be done? Proof on the screens. So, Dogecoin NFT minted on transaction. This is the transaction, and here's the screenshots, guys. Here is absolutely the screenshots. It was done. This is the NFT that was minted, guys. Absolutely insane in the membrane, and we did it. It was checked, and we can do it, guys. And not only that, what is really cool about that is you can see that the cost of mint NFT Doge uh, NFT is 0 0.01 Doge, guys. Transfer ownership of NFT screen soon. After I receive some feedback, the Dogecoin core devs will, will confirm my theory and test it live. So this is cool, guys. So it looks like we can now start to uh, 
mint nfts on the dogecoin network dogecoin blockchain so we're just waiting for the uh, devs to confirm it then they're going to let us know how it happens so you guys can we can start be making some doji woji nfts guys so that's going to be really cool and the cost to do it is a fraction a fraction of the cost of uh, doing it on you with uh, ethereum and using ER erc tokens guys so this is huge guys this is the first time the first time in history guys the first time in history that we have dogecoin being minted uh nfts being minted on the dogecoin blockchain so our g in the house i brought it to you nobody's talking about this O to the g brought this to you Woo! this is huge news and this is breaking guys breaking breaking news guys so i love it you love it so let's take a look at btc price and let you get out of here so right now btc is at 47,868 in the house it's still below our 21 day ema ladies and gentlemen so I'm not worried. We got so much unchained data the same. We're going to get the pumpity pump. So I'm not, I don't care about this anymore. We're just going up, guys. And we're still seeing that, uh, you know, the, uh, Bitcoin is still range bound between here and here. And it's at 47,905. Guys, once we get the, uh, the Fed, uh, Powell in the house, tells us exactly what is going on, then we're going to see the markets calm down. We're going to see, boom, big pump, snap. It's going to be in the house. Also, let's take a look at the Ethereum in house. Ethereum is also at 3,832. This is absolutely the great time to buy, guys. Good time to buy. Buy the DPD dips because we're going to be going bang to the moon, guys. You're going to love it. I love it. And look at uh, Solana is coming back a little bit, guys. And it, it, it went back up to 170, got rejected. We're back down to 164. But I don't worry because I know that Bitcoin is going to go up, guys. We could see, you know, Bloomberg was talking about uh, like 100K today, right? Come on, 100K. And these guys are some smart cookies over there. So I think it's absolutely going to happen. At least we're going to hit 75 to 79K. That is a no-brainer in the house, guys. And it looks like Matic is also trying to paint some green guys and things are starting to go up and start to turn guys so let's take a look at the total market cap in the house it's total market cap right now let me give this a minute refresh it's looking a little bit low so no it's correct data so we got 22.24 trillion the volumes are starting to build up as america wakes up guys wakey wakey rise and shine get your cup of joe get your mug your mug we're going to start to see that the volumes are going up it's now 73 billion in the house and we're now we're seeing that the dominance is also going up. We need that to come down before the alts are going to go crazy. Let's take a look at the coins in the house real quick, 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 quick. We're seeing that uh, right now Bitcoin just went down a little bit. It's at 48,000. Let me just go back to the uh, main Bitcoin chart to see how that's did we pop down. No, it's at 47,948 here, and it's at uh, 47,943. Uh, so if we get the aggregate, remember, a lot of exchanges have slippage, slippage so that's why you see the uh, price here. So it's at 48,064, and we're seeing that uh, the uh, Ethereum right now is at 3,852, and it's slightly down. Uh, Bitcoin is down. We're seeing BNB is down as well, 1%, and it's 523. Solana is up. Thank goodness for that. Solana, Solana. I love Solana. I'm buying the dips. And uh, tomorrow is my DCA day guys so i'm going to be buying the dip dip dips so that's a 165 that's up three percent ada is slightly up 125 i'm a buyer to buck you guys know that and the dotty dot dot is uh at uh, about 26 dollars that's down 1.76 and my doji was whoa oh, doge is you know even with this nft news that nobody's talking about and i don't think it's hit mainstream yet i think the og is the first person to break it uh we're still seeing that the uh, doge coin is about 18 right now it's down 13 percent avalanche is up 10 percent thank goodness and it's at 90 dollars in the house and we're seeing that luna is also up uh, uh almost two percent at 58 bucks the shibby wibby's down as well 3.12 percent so it's getting it's, it's a bit of a mix back i mean there's more losers than winners so you guys can still absolutely go back and pick up some deals like i still think maddox is a pretty good pickup guys so with that being said guys don't forget to go and follow me on twitter join the, join the cool team join the cool club guys and get it get it get it you know you want to get it Woo! and uh, don't forget to go down there mm. smash the likes i'm tapping on your head smash the likes smash the likes subscribe why be in the house super chats are always welcome guys don't forget to go and check my linky links and uh, if you're in a, a super chat zone where you can't give super chats because you know geo geoip lock there you can go to the crypto squad Buy the channel and coffee. Get it? Buy the channel and coffee. Don't forget to check out the merch, guys. Christmas is coming. What are you waiting for? Get the merch and merch. Get the mug, the mug. Get the pillow, willow, willow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get it. And we got the other stuff, too. We got uh, Week Nancy t-shirts. So get it, guys. And one final thing. Guys, do me a favor. Go over to Weefy Fifi's channel and uh, see if you can hop on over there and support with us and subscribe, guys. So I just want to say Merry Christmas to all of you. God bless each and every one of you. Be well. 
be happy have some fun today guys happy wednesday to everybody in america happy wednesday evening to everybody in uh, europe and happy happy late evening to everybody here in asia god bless you i'll see you guys tomorrow all right guys and uh, yeah so you know it's a great time to be alive it's all i can say Woo, peace out Refer, go to in the house bring you bring you Love over the interwebs, guys. The best love. The best love is right here, guys. So I'll see you tomorrow in time. Okay. Take it out. Take it easy, guys. See ya. Bye. Peace.